Well, new at five, the next class of college football athletes have made things official as part of early national signing day. Maria Martin is here and joins us to take a look at how the local team's recruiting class has turned out. It means so much to so many for so long. Hey, Jeff, yes, it absolutely does. Early national signing day officially in the books, and we got another big day from the Georgia Bulldogs. No surprise there. For Georgia Tech, it is the beginning of a new era with Brent Key at the helm. Here's a quick recap of how the day has gone so far. Today marks the first of two signing days during the calendar year for college football. Starting with the Georgia Bulldogs, they've hauled in another impressive top five early signing class. They addressed a lot of needs, especially in two position groups. Probably the last five years, four years, we've been really short in our defensive back room, so we're, we're trying to manage those numbers. There and receiver are probably the two hardest spots to be at your quota on your 85. Um, it's a position that turns over a lot. It's a position that comes out early a lot position that goes in the portal a lot. I'm going to stay home, man. I'm going to stay at Georgia, man. The dogs also secured Langston Hughes offensive tackle Bo Hughley today over Auburn and Colorado. He recently won a 6A state championship, and he said his commitment to the dogs never wavered. I've been with Georgia, as everybody knows, since day one. So Georgia always was home. Uh, I really built a connection with the coaches, so my connection with the coaches made everything tight to where I could trust them. On the flats, head coach Brent Key officially hauled in the beginning of his first signing class as a head coach. A big point of emphasis for Key was to recruit this state. 15 signees come from Georgia of the 24 athletes they signed. That's a priority for us. Is number one is to recruit our backyard, recruit the, uh, the, the surrounding area of Atlanta, but also the entire state of Georgia. And that's something that's important to us. You know, both head coaches also addressing the transfer portal and how that will actually affect signing days moving forward. It's something new to navigate. They both said they're going to use it as a helpful tool, but not necessarily let it be their entire method of recruitment.